Hello, I'm Leanne Spar, and in this section we will discuss addition and subtraction of mixed numbers. The specific objectives we will address are add with mixed numbers, add with carrying, subtract mixed numbers, subtract with borrowing. Now let's look at an exercise in which we add mixed numbers. In order to add the mixed numbers, we need to add the fractions and add the whole numbers and combine. You can see before we add these fractions, we're going to need to get a common denominator. The common denominator will be 40. So 16 and 7 tenths will become 16 and with the denominator of 40, 10 goes into 40 four times. 4 times 7 is 28. We have 26 and 1 fifth. We need a denominator of 40. 5 goes into 40 8 times. 8 times 1 is 8. We have 8 and 3 eighths. We need a denominator of 40. So 8 goes into 40 5 times. 5 times 3 is 15. So now we can add these numbers. We will add the fractions first and then we will add the whole numbers. 28 plus 8 plus 15 is 51 and 16 plus 26 plus 8 is 50. We have an improper fraction here so we can say that 50 and 51 fortieths is 50 plus 51 fortieths is 1 and 11 fortieths. So combining these, we have 51 and 11 fortieths. So the sum of these mixed numbers is 51 and 11 fortieths. Now let's look at some exercises in which we subtract mixed numbers. We subtract the fractions and subtract the whole numbers separately. In order to subtract these fractions, we need to get a common denominator, and the common denominator for these two fractions will be 24. So 9 and 7 eighths will be 9. Obtaining a common denominator, we will have 21 over 24, and we're going to be subtracting 6 and 5 twelfths. So 5 twelfths will be 10 twenty-fourths. So 9 and 21 twenty-fourths subtract 6 and 10 twenty-fourths will be 21 minus 10 is 11 twenty-fourths. 9 minus 6 is 3. So the difference in 9 7 8 and 6 and 5 twelfths is 3 and 11 twenty-fourths. Now let's subtract 12 and 3 fourths from 19. You will see that 19 is a whole number, and so 19 will also have to be written as a mixed number. So we're going to borrow one from 19 and make the whole part 18, and the fractional part will be 4 fourths, because 18 and 4 fourths is the same thing as 19. And from that, we are going to subtract 12 and 3 fourths. Subtract the fractions, 4 fourths, subtract 3 fourths is 1 fourth. 18 subtract 12 is 6. So the difference here is 6 and 1 fourth. Now let's subtract 2 and 5 twelfths from 6 and 1 third. Once again, we'll need to get a common denominator. In this case, it will be 12. So 6 and 1 third will be 6, and the denominator of 12 will be 4 twelfths. And we will subtract 2 and 5 twelfths. But we can't subtract 5 twelfths from 4 twelfths. So we're going to have to borrow a whole number here and make the 6 be 5. And notice that we borrowed 12 twelfths because we borrowed 1. So we borrowed 12 twelfths. So 4 twelfths plus the 12 twelfths will be 16 twelfths. And we're going to subtract from that 2 and 5 twelfths. 
And so now 16 twelfths minus 5 twelfths is 11 twelfths, and 5 minus 2 is 3. So our difference here is 3 and 11 twelfths. In this section, we have examined addition and subtraction of mixed numbers. So now it's time for you to practice some on your own.